Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, today I'm doing something I never did on camera here before, but I love to cook this one. I'm going to do it a little bit differently than you would traditionally do it at home. Today I'm doing a old school red beans and sausage. I'm going to serve it with some white rice, but I'm going to do it in my instant pot, but I'm going to do it on a slow cooker. So it's just like you're doing it in a crock pot. But I'm doing it in an in a instant pot on a slow cooker setting. So it's very simple, this recipe. You just put it all in the pot, of course, and uh, set it. So what I'm going to do, I always put my beans first. We're going to stir it up here after I get everything in there. Put my beans in there. I got some green bell peppers. You can put celery if you want to. I'm not into celery. Got some diced white onions here, and I got the recipe on the description of the video, like always. Now I put my sausage in here, and I'm going to put my seasoning, put my white pepper and salt. Got a little white vinegar I put in there just to make it tender. Y'all know my Uncle Steve's shake, that's my new shake now that I use. My new seasoning, put some of that in there. Got to be really, really seasoned. I use my cabinet, y'all know I love my cabinets. Put that in there. This is not really salty, it's just flavor. And I put a, about a couple of tablespoons of Louisiana hot sauce. You gotta have that kick. But this Louisiana hot sauce is not really spicy. It just gives it that uh, lots of flavor. It got a little kick, but not much. And then I'm gonna put water in here. I'm gonna put in just enough water to cover it in. And I'm gonna stir it up. And that'll be it. I'm gonna set it for eight hours. I'm gonna come back in eight hours. Like I said, this is a good, good thing to do when you're going to work or you leave for work in the morning. Just put this on. You come home in the afternoon. Your beans and red beans is ready. All you gotta do is put your rice on, and that'd be good eating. Okay. Got that, and now I'm gonna stir it up really good here. She's all everything all completely stirred up in there. And that's it. Put the top on there, plug it in. And we got us some. We're gonna have us some uh, good old red beans and rice later. Make sure it's sealed. Plug it in here. Okay, here. Plug it in there. Alright, I'm going to set on a slow cooker thing. And I'm going to do about eight hours. Go back up. Eight hours. That's it. So we're going to come back in eight hours. We're going to have some awesome red beans and sausage. And I'm going to have the white rice ready. And good, delicious dinner. So we'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we back. Okay, it's been eight hours since this has been cooking. Actually, it's been a little bit over eight hours because it's been holding for 17 minutes. Let's see if the pressure's been released. It hasn't, so we're going to have to do a manual press, uh, pressure release on here. I'm going to release the pressure there. Most of the pressure's already been released, so... We're going to see what we got here. It should be nice and tender and flavorful. Like I said, it's been slow cooking for eight hours. And we're going to see. Let's see. Make sure y'all careful. Always careful when you release the steam off of these things. Because nothing's hotter than, than steam. I got my white rice here already cooked for it. I got my cornbread. I got my chow chow. Okay, you see the thing is dropped down, so that means that it's been released. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that, that. See, the beans are tender. Oh, yeah. Let me get a close up of this so y'all can see. See what we got here. After eight hours. Now you can do yours a little thicker if you want. Let me get a ladle so you can actually see what I got here. 
Look at that. Nice red beans there. Look at that. See that? That's what you want. Beans are nice and tender. And what you can do to make a little thicker, I like to do, I like to smash the beans against the, the side of the, just kind of make it a little thicker. But you really don't have to do that. I'm going to smash a few up against the side there. Other than that, that is good to go. Okay, we're going to step back here and we're going to come right back. I'm going to take a few pictures and we're going to plate this up and I'm going to tell you how it tastes. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, we're going to plate up some of this. Okay, I got, like I can say I got my white rice here. Put in a bowl right here. Red beans and rice. Hey, can't go wrong with that, y'all. Can't go wrong with that. Push this back just a little so y'all can see. Okay. All right, like I say, you can make them thicker, but as these set up, of course, they're going to get a little bit thicker. So, let's see here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's where I like mine. A little more meat on there. You got that rice to soak up all that juice. Mmm. Put a little juice on that rice. I got me some chow chow. I know I look out have some old school. Old school chow chow. Look at that old school chow chow. Put a little old school chow chow on them beans. Shoot. That's what I'm talking about right there. A little cornbread here. Gotta have some cornbread with it. Look at that. Hey, that's a meal in itself right there, y'all. That's all you need. Let's try this here. The beans is tender. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is perfectly seasoned. Y'all saw that seasoning I put in there. And it's not spicy. And the sausage is very tender. Cut with a fork, as you can see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey. Cornbread there. Mmm. Bean and cornbread. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Can't go wrong, y'all. We're going to powder a red bean and salty. Hey, it's on. All right, y'all. Close this video out. Please give this recipe video a thumbs up. Please share. Please comment. Please like. Also, follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Twitter, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day.